Familia ya Rita Waeni Mwendo imewaeleza polisi kichwa kilichopatikana katika bwawa huko Kiamba kaunti ya Kiambu ni cha mwana wao. Familia ina imani hiyo kwa kuwa ngozi zilizokuwa zimetumika kufunga kichwa hicho ni nguo alizokuwa nazo Rita Waeni. Uh, they were able to retrieve and uh, further investigation at the scene we found that uh, indeed it was a human female human head that was in the, in the composing it was wrapped in a purple a blouse and in it also we found a stone i believe that one was put there so that uh, it can sink polisi wamearifu kuwa italazimika kichwa hicho kifanywe uchunguzi wa dna kulinganisha na sampuli za dna za rita waeni baada ya hilo kichwa kitafanywa upasuaji kubaini hali yake kabla na baada ya kifo. Upasuaji wa kichwa ulitarajiwa kufanyika leo lakini umeahirishwa kwa sababu uchunguzi wa tukio sasa unatekelezwa na kitengo maalum cha upelelezi wa mauaji cha DCI. Sababu ya kuahirishwa ikawa uchunguzi wa kesi tata umechukuliwa na makachera wa kitengo cha mauaji kutoka makao makuu ya upelelezi DCI. Kupitia mawasiliano ya simu na mkurugenzi wa kitengo hicho cha kuchunguza mauaji Martin Nyoguto Maafisa wa tajriba ya juu zaidi wamepewa nafasi kuchunguza kesi na kuhakikisha mhusika aliyemchinja Rita Waeni amekamatwa. Uchunguzi unahusu vitu muhimu vilivyochukuliwa kutoka eneo la tukio katika chumba hiki cha Airbnb mtaani Kasarani, mawasiliano, picha za CCTV na mashahidi. Kuna watu waliokuwa wametiwa mbaroni na wanachunguzwa. Watu hao ni raia wawili wa Nigeria waliokamatwa kwenye chumba fulani karibu na kulikopatikana kichwa hicho. Miliki wa chumba alikuwa wa Rita pia yuko korokoroni kwa kosa la kutochukua stakabadhi za mteja wake aliyegeuka na kumuua Rita. Hayo kijiri kuna familia nyingine inayomboleza kuuawa kwa msichana wao mtaani Kasarani siku ya Jumapili. Grace had a quarrel with her boyfriend and the quarrel ended up becoming a photo because She sort of took a sink herself with her hands, dropped the sink, and then in the process the boyfriend went outside to crock the water so that the water will not continue pouring. And on coming back, the boyfriend found Grace prostrate on the ground as she had fallen on the same sink and she was very hurt and that is how they took her to hospital. That was the explanation I was given. Familia ya Grace Wangari Dhuya imetamaushwa jinsi msichana wao alipigwa na kudungwa kisu na mshukiwa huyu kwa jina Clinton Mwangi Njeri anayedaiwa kuwa mpenziwe mwili wa Grace ulitambuliwa barabarani huko Kasarani ukiwa na majeraha the body was not so good from the look of the body it had some stabs on the left and right arm the left leg and the right arm the left leg had sort of four stabs and the right arm had two or three stabs familia hiyo inasubiri matokeo uchunguzi wa maiti na kuandaa mazishi nyumbani huko Gatanga Moranga Grace Wangari Dhuyo wa umri wa miaka 23 ni msichana wa nane kuuawa kwa njia katili katika kipindi cha chini ya wiki mbili hapo jana polisi Gatundu kusini pia wanachunguza kisa cha mwanamke kuuawa na mwili wake kupatikana kichakani bila matiti kuna mwili umetupa karibu na bridge bridge ya Adelika wakati tulienda kuchukua hiyo mwili tukaona katika kuangalia mwili haikuwa na titi moja upande wa kushoto na pia alikuwa ametungwa kisu upande wa shingo mara mbili na hivyo ndio tuliona katika ile ile visiko la Pierre ambao tuliona kama sisi polisi kuna baadhi ya washukiwa wamekamatwa na wengine bado hawajatiwa nguvuni Franklin Wala K24 saa moja